Hi guys, I'm Shmi. I'm here at Ford's Flat Rock production facility where we're going to be taking a look at the production of the Ford Mustang. They also build the Fusion here, which is the Mondeo for those of us in the UK. But we're going to be taking a look, a quick look on a tour around at how exactly these cars are built. So let's jump in, get in the tram and go and have a look. More than one million built at Flat Rock alone since the Pony Car's arrival in late 2004. Ford Motor Company first opened this facility in 1972 as the Michigan Casting Center, which was one of the most technologically advanced casting facilities in the world, entering the stamping shop. Unlike many assembly plants, Flat Rock has an on-site stamping department comprised of 150 team members, including its maintenance teams. The large racks of parts you see are just some of the body parts we stamped at Flat Rock. Other dedicated stamping facilities, such as Woodhaven Stamping Plant, located a few miles away, supply various parts as well. The start of the stamping process begins with a 20-ton coil of steel. We use several different types of steel depending on where it will be used in the vehicle. This can be seen by the different appearance of the various parts. The stamping shop creates key vehicle parts such as hoods, body panels, trunk lids, and door panels. These parts are cut from sheets of metal and formed into shape by giant machines called presses. There are five modern transfer presses within the stamping shop. The stamping shop uses several different types of steel based on which part will be pressed. The steel is uncoiled and cut into blanks, or single sheets of steel that are sized for the presses. A die set is the set of parts that press the steel into a certain shape. The die sets can be changed out to make different parts very quickly. Assemble the bodies using the latest in robotic technology. The body shop is the most automated department in the plant, utilizing more than 1,000 robots to position and install parts, apply sealer, and perform more than 3,000 welds to each body. In 2013, Ford Motor Company invested an additional $555 million into Flat Rock Assembly Plant. More than 1,000 robots weld, set, and add adhesive to hundreds of different parts between the two buildings. The new robotics and equipment give the body shop more flexibility and efficiency than ever before and has the capacity to produce more than 70 units per hour. Stone. The stone is brushed across the outer sheet metal to check for any dirt or slight contortions along the surface. If the part clears the quality check, it's transported farther up the line to await its union with the body. The all-new Mustang was revealed in December 2013 and sports a new design from the ground up for the new generation of America's favorite pony car. It will be exported to more than 110 countries, including China for the first time. Flat Rock will also produce right-hand drive Mustangs for markets including the United Kingdom, Japan, and Australia for the first time. This is the last time the body will have its metal frame exposed before being treated to FRAP's state-of-the-art paint process. Along the same 130-yard install line, the deck lids, doors, fender, and hood are applied to the vehicle's frame by FRAP team members. The doors are installed before the vehicle is painted, then removed in the final assembly area to ensure easy access for the installation of its internal components, which you'll learn more about later. Thousands of different parts are installed by team members throughout final. For example, one door has more than 500 parts installed. A unique feature of this line is its capacity to tilt the vehicles. This allows for easier access to its underbody, making it more ergonomically friendly for team members to install the fuel system, various chassis components, and the brake lines. The engine decking line is where the muscle marries the body of the vehicle. The body and engine are joined together for the first time in a process called decking. 
Unlike most assembly plants, flat rock assembly merges the engine upward into the vehicle's body as it hangs from above, opposed to bringing the vehicle down onto the engine and axle. The front suspension, transmission, and engine are installed as a unit while the rear suspension is installed as a separate unit. As a result of this process, a single vehicle emerges from a complex assembly process that has involved thousands of parts and thousands of people. Team members are installing various components, such as the air conditioning compressor and generator, to a wide variety of engines. After completing its 15-mile journey through the plant, a world-class vehicle emerges, ready for its engine to roar alive. Once the vehicle has started for the first time, it is driven to the alignment machine to set the front end alignment as well as the headlight alignment, or soak test to look for any water leaks. The cars then proceed to the customer acceptance line where they are closely inspected to meet Ford's world-class vehicle quality. There we go then, a quick tour around the Ford Mustang factory, the Flat Rock plant here in Detroit. It's been pretty awesome to see the first time I've been around such a big place like that and seeing everything that's going on and quite how much goes in from all of the stamping, how many parts there were, like rear wings and doors and everything around there, watching it all go through and then cars coming out and then you end up with this, cars like this new Ford Mustang. Obviously also there were the Fusions, which over in the UK we call the Mondeos. Um, being built on the same production line. They've just done that massive $500 million investment to make it possible to make two different cars on the same line, even though they don't really share very many components. But like I said, pretty cool to be able to film and see and be out here at NIAS with Ford. An amazing show with the Shelby GT350R, of course, based on this, and then the new Ford GT as well. So make sure you check out all that stuff from the Motor Show. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers. Trick aerodynamic shapes and designs. Just look through there. Here we go then. The car looks absolutely fantastic in the bright red on the Acura stand here. 